All right, we're going to take a real quick look here at genetic modification of food. This presentation will help you understand genetically modified food, how we do it. So here's some terms to know. Genetic engineering, GE, means directly manipulating an organism's genetic material in the lab by adding, deleting, or changing segments of its DNA. So this is something different than what happens during reproduction or traditional crossbreeding. In that case, you are taking genes from one member of the species into a different member of the species that might have different properties, but it's still the same species. Here we're talking about taking DNA from one organism into a different organism of a different species. When we do that, we get what are called genetically modified organisms, GM. Genetically engineered using recombinant DNA technology. Recombinant DNA means DNA patched together from DNA of multiple organisms. For example, adding disease-resistant genes <clears throat> from one plant to the genes of another. Here's a diagram of what's going on here. This shows how we make recombinant DNA. You have um, a cell from some organism that has, that has some trait that you like. And so you take this DNA, you cut out the gene of interest, you put that gene into what's called plasmid DNA from a bacterium. Now you have new piece of DNA and you inject that into the bacterium and you get that bacterium to reproduce, making more and more copies of this new recombinant DNA. And then you take these cells um, and you inject them into whatever organism you'd like to modify. And how they do that is with the gene gun. It's used to blast metal particles coated with, the, coated with the recombinant DNA into the cells of the plant you wish to modify. And so you just hope that some of those cells are able to incorporate those metal particles and the DNA without the cells being too badly damaged that they die. And amazing things can happen. What do you get when you mix tobacco in a firefly gene? You get glow-in-the-dark tobacco. You maybe even see some glow-in-the-dark animals. Similar technique. Okay, that's it. I just want to show you and go over those main concepts there. The big thing to note is that this is not related to the Green Revolution. This is a technology that developed in the 1980s. And, um, and so it's considered part of more of maybe the biotech revolution, but not the Green Revolution.